Welcome back to another episode. We are in week 11 of Coach Gerard Mayo's first season in Huntington, and the battle for the Conference USA East crown is heating up. Four teams at 3-1, and one, including us, FAU, FIU, and today's opponent, UAB. This is an important stretch for us in our season, and it starts with today's matchup. It's also that time in the season where we want to take a look at some award semifinalists. Up for the bet, Narek, our boy Eli Neal and Abraham Boplan. Neal, Boplan, and Jamari Edwards for the Nagurski. Alex Mullet is in the mix for the Remington. Jamari Edwards is being recognized as a semifinalist for the Lombardi Award. Neil and Bo Plan are up for the Butkus, and our boy Willie Johnson is a contender for the Jet Returner of the Year Award. Let's dive into this UAB matchup. Our boy Lee still loves us. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> UAB does have us in a few letter grades. And they sport a top 10 defense so far. But they're a team that not only struggles to score points, they also struggle to move the ball on the ground. This should be a fun one, and we know it's important. Gotta get a win today. The Joan is under a blanket of snow again as Willie Johnson gets our day started at the two. He's out across the 40, out to the 50, 40, 30, makes a man miss, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, 98 yards for Willie Johnson. Yo, this man is unreal. My man is a problem. Marshall, seven, nothing lead. Haven't even touched the ball as Willie takes it 98 for the touchdown. UAB hasn't even go gotten off the bus and they are already down. We love to see it as Hopkins throws this one straight into the defender. Give up the opening kickoff return for touchdown. Immediately face third and seven. In the snow, UAB is in all sorts of trouble, but they hit the slant route to Davis first down. I think Marshall would have gotten a stop there the roof, theoretically, roof would have come off this place. They do convert the first down as they nope. go to Davis on the sweep, and Eli Neal is all over it. Multiple award semifinalist Eli Neal is maybe what I should say. Second and 13, UAB. Counter to McBride. He scampers up the middle for nine. Already one for one on third downs, facing their second on this drive. Man coverage look across the formation hopkins plenty of time throws right and it was almost intercepted by gilmore -hoo -hoo -hoo. we finally get our first look at ali wells and the boys on offense first down zone read keeper for wells he's out out of bounds with a first down flanked by ali wells sends johnson in motion inside give goes to ali finds a great crease off the right tackle and he's up for eight Second and short. Couple deep routes drawn up here by Wells. He's got a little protection running out of time. He's on the scramble on the move and he's got some room. 40, 35, and he Bruh. dives out of bounds safely. 23 yards for Grant Wells. Obviously we were looking to slide, but Grant decides to dive regardless. Doesn't take the hit, gets the first down. I'll take it. 23 yards, extending the plays with his legs. You know, Grant Wells is the best in the business at that. Zone read to Ali for six. Second and four, great down in distance to try to take a shot. Now oh, we're just gonna go bubble screen to Miller, who's able to pick up the first down. Devin Miller for 10. We don't have the top end speed, but I feel like there are just enough weapons in this offense between the tight ends and wide receivers for us to make some things happen, as Wells scrambles and gets met. We definitely don't want to make it a habit to take a bunch of shots like that. Grant Wells only able to get a yard. Switching up the play here. Just inside the red zone at about the 18. Wells in shotgun. Steps into it. Willie Johnson for four. Wells gets the snap. Pressure coming. Well protected. Scrambling. Looking out to the left. Flips it to Gamage and we've got a touchdown. Flag is down. Will it stand? Roughing the passer, seven more for Marshall. We just talked about it. Wells extending the play with his legs, able to flip his hips by just enough time, find Gamage as Drayton takes a shot from McBride. Gamage has scored for us many times, working some of those deep over routes, deep crossing routes. He's such a great target, has great size and just enough athleticism as Hopkins looking to run, gets drugged down for the sack. One of the most underrated players on our season. Defensive end Shane Simmons with the sack. 
We certainly have talked about how we need somebody Bruh. in. We need somebody. As Gilmore gives up a huge play downfield to Davis. Yikes. I was literally just talking about how much I've enjoyed Shane Simmons. He, he adds 15 on with the uh, roughing the passer. Gilmore gets smoked in man coverage on the edge. Bruh. Hopkins hits a dart up the sideline and then runs for 15. We went from third and nine on their side of the 50 in the snow, down 14 nothing, to an absolute dart up the sideline. First down, touchdown. And just like that, it's 14 7. We had these guys on the ropes. Ay, yeah, yeah. This crowd stunned just like I am. We went from 14 0, looking real good. Now it's a one score game. Give UAB credit. Great throw up the sideline. 15 yard gifted. Two straight runs by the QB, and then they're in for a touchdown as Ali drops the short one. Third and inches from the 38. Wells checks. Inside give to Ali, first down. Definitely want to put together a good, solid drive here. Would love to put more points on the board. UAB's got a little bit of momentum going. So yeah, we'd like to put some more points on before we give them the ball back. We're doing a nice job managing the down and distance. Third and three upcoming. Wells, inside give to Ali, who's got some room up the sideline. Ali, I need some speed. Big stiff arm from Ali. He's able to rumble. Please give me some top end speed for 22. Please. Training results. I can't wait to see what we do with him. Last play of the first quarter. Keaton. First down as we get the second quarter going. Marshall inside the red zone again. At the UAB 15. Wells looking. Scrambling. Running out of room. Throws it late over the middle. Caught by Gaines. As he slides down. Great catch. Ah, love that. Gaines go down and make a play. Love to see it. Inside give to Ali, and he's in untouched. Rasheen Ali, 21-7, Marshall. 21-7 after a great response drive by Marshall. UAB gets it again. McBride up the middle. Seven. We talked about it at the top of the episode. Super important game for us today. Trying to stay in the middle of that Heated race for the top of the Conference USA East side of the standings as Hopkins hits McBride on the Texas route for 10. UAB solidly 6-2 on the season, 3-1 so far on the conference schedule. Drayton nope. gets just enough of McBride TFL. We definitely have a tough stretch as we got to keep pace with FAU, see if we can steal one back, if we can... We can't control our own destiny, but maybe they'll drop one as they set up the screen to McBride for four. Obviously, we don't own the tiebreaker head-to-head, -head, so we need FAU to lose at some point. But first and foremost, we got to handle UAB as the draw to Wooden is perfect. Great play. Caught us off guard with the late delay. Halfback draw. This time, though, Boplan nope. is all over it. Also talked about him being an award semifinalist. Boplan. Gets a little overshadowed by Neil's statistics, but he has been so solid for us. McBride avoids a couple, gets five. I really do love what Bo Plan brings. Not quite as fast, not quite as athletic as some of the other linebackers, but a hard hitter, sure tackler. Does a really great job for us. As Gilmore has Bruh. a chance to intercept it. He dropped it, but great D, fourth down. And it's a fake. They fake it. Almost caught me sleeping. Garrett Prince on the direct snap. Fake punt attempt. Coach Mayo had his boys ready. Marshall takes over. Just short of their 45-yard line. Gamage. Jet sweep fake. Setting up the reverse screen to Ali. He gets tripped up. Seven. I really like that play. Fake the jet motion to a wide receiver. Give it back to your halfback who's on the near boundary as Wells is scrambling, and I think he's got enough for the first down. It was. Ball tucked away in his right hand. Wells squeaks it out for the first down. First and 10. Play action. Running out of time. Flipping it late across the middle. That should have been intercepted. Yikes. We definitely hit the wrong button. Was trying to dump it off into the flats to Ali. Not the right button. Zone read keeper by Wells. He's getting a couple blocks. Fighting. Fighting. Great run of 20. It's errant throws like that that remind me, hey, sometimes just keep the ball on the ground, you dummy. Wells, shotgun, looking, pressure, coming, tries to get it away, cannot. 
He does get it away. Technically incomplete. Certainly wanted to hit Ali. Checking up. This time inside give. Great cut by Ali. Tripped up. He had room. Ali's having a really, really solid day. Seeing the field really well as they creep a safety into the box. Wells checks out of it. Let's see what we got. Couple audibles, couple audibles. Play clock running down. Gets the snap, sets, looks left. Little high, but Keaton hauls it in. First and goal from the 10 inside the red zone again. Third time in the first half. Wells looking left, running out of time, getting cut off and forced out. Still dialing up the pass. Couple audibles. Wells looking, has protection. Running out of time. He's going to keep it. He's going to flip it late, and it's wide. That one's tough. That one is tough. He had him. He had him. Third and goal from the six. Zone read. Wells keeps trying to get in, and he does. Six-yard touchdown. Grant Wells able to force his way in. 28-7. Bolstered by the opening kickoff return. The Marshall offense has been fantastic. Three touchdowns in the first half, and the defense is also playing well. UAB is a really good squad. We talked about it. Top 10 D coming in. We've done a really good job in the snow, slowing them down. McBride on the delay. Let's see what Hopkins has in store as he motions the tight end across. Shotgun set. Looking over the middle. He's dropped by Davis. What a great throw, though. Oh, my goodness. Lucky. Our boy Joshua Bowers had a nice return, but we got flagged for clipping at the end of it. So we are going to take over. At our 23, easy, 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 easy. under two minutes to go in the half. We are looking to air it out. Wells rolling under pressure, under pressure, keeps, scampers out. Great decision to not make a bad decision on the run by Wells, but you know me. I am always good for a bad decision in the air, especially when it comes to right here, when we're trying to pass down the field with quickness. Trying to switch up the plays. Let's see what we got dialed up. Ooh. Knocked away on third and short. Good D by UAB. You know what? Even though we didn't throw an interception and we had to, we were forced to punt, I actually feel like kind of good. Well, I felt kind of good as they hit Pittman up the seam for 30. Jesus. As I was trying to say, we didn't throw the interception, so our quarterback's confidence isn't shaking, and we didn't give them a short field, but one throw from Hopkins changes all of that as he scrambles for four. Timeout by UAB sets us up with a second and six. Minute and ten to go. Screen. Nope. And it is tripped up. McBride lost a six. UAB waited a few moments, but then does take their timeout. Third and 12. Let's see what they've got going. Hopkins in the shotgun. Sitting comfy. Throws it to Sanders. He's short. Fourth and three. They're going to keep everyone out there. Man coverage. Blitz dialed up from Marshall. 35 seconds and counting. Hopkins taking his time. Three seconds. Hopkins sets. Looks left. Throws a dart. He's got a man. Davis. Touchdown. Ryan Davis. UAB scores at the end of the half. Oh my goodness. Well, that was certainly not what we were looking for or expecting. I fully intended them to try to run out the half. Meanwhile, they hit a dart. We run it out and that's gonna be our halftime score, 28-14. And here we are to start the third quarter. An unreal end to the first half for UAB as they strike lightning quick. Great D here to start it though. McBride with some tough running there, but we kept coming at him in waves. Second and seven. Hopkins looking left, has a man for four. Big third and three. As they get the ball back after scoring. Would love to hold them. And we do. Minus two, punt it. Marshall D stands tall. Gets off the field on the opening drive for UAB of the second half as we go inside to Ali for six. 72 yards on nine carries. Ali having a great day. Got to continue to feed him. I see the comment section as he hits the spin button. Establish the run. Establish the run. I always feel like we do a decent job getting Ali established. That's two straight runs to him, and now we look to hit a play action. 
Feels like pretty straightforward football. Wells keeps and slides down. Six. Poor spacing for us on the tail end of that play action. Wells just tucks and runs. Second and four. Inside give to Ali. He's just short of the first down. Ali's such a workhorse for us. I really, really hope we can get his skills up. Get him a little bit more speed. Fake the jet to Keaton. Inside gaping hole for Ali. He does everything we need. He's really solid in pass pro. He's got great vision. Shifty. Powerful. Catches the ball out of the backfield. He just can't hit that home run for you yet. Wells with a great ball there to Johnson. Goes for seven. Changing around the play. Second and three. Three down linemen. We're going to eat that all day. Ali on the inside handoff. 13 carries, 97 yards. They come out in a very similar look. We're swapping it up a little bit. Went to a run. Now we're looking to throw it. Wells setting, running, running, setting, running. Scampers out of bounds. We were looking for every possible option to throw that thing downfield. Nothing coming available. Inside give to Ali. Shimmy's around one. First down. Averaging 7.4 per carry. And he's across the 100-yard mark. Sheldon Evans gets the call on this one, though, and he is in for the touchdown. Six yards for Sheldon Evans. Makes a man miss, and he's in. Feels good to see a guy like Sheldon Evans get into the end zone. He gets a little bit overshadowed in the backfield since Ali's such a true number one, but he's a good player, and I'm happy for him. Davis able to hit us again on the slant route as we find that Lee Anthony Williams, strained peck, going to miss a quarter. Draw to McBride going nope. nowhere, though. We elect to sub McCoy in in place of Williams, so McCoy is out there as CB2. Hopkins motioning, second and 13. Blitz coming. Bell standing there. Gets out of the way, and Trey has the first down. Flag down. <laughs> this one's coming back. Holding. That holding penalty on halfback McBride. Rare to see a holding on the halfback, but hey, I'll take it. Second and 23, Hopkins inside, give Neil, oh my goodness. Eli, so quick, so explosive. Eli Neal had no business being in the backfield that fast. What a freaking stud. Third and forever. Hopkins, fake pumps, runs, throws as he runs. Gilmore swats it away, his third deflection of the day. Can we catch it? I swear, if Gilmore wants to be in the league like his brother, we're going to need him to bring in some of those, huh? Nevertheless, they kick, punt it to us. almost said they kick a field goal. They punt it to us as well. Sets, throws to Keaton, who drops it on the slant. I need just a little more consistency out of Keaton. He's got a chance to be a really special player, but golly, he's frustrating. The rare moment where they actually shut Ali down, setting us up third and nine. Wells changing around the protection, keeping gains into block. Looking, running out of time, big sack. Minute and a half left to go in the third quarter. Marshall up big in this one. Hopkins under pressure, sprinted right into the pressure, and he's going to go down. They're going to give that to Eli Neal. Second and 14, Hopkins in shotgun. Zone pressure look again. The McBride on the counter, though. Great call. Spins down for nine. Halfback counter so OP in NCAA 14, and they've been using him well against us. McBride in there, setting up the screen. Abraham, no. Edwards tracks it all the way down. Jamari just has such a great feel for snuffing out those screen plays. Absolutely love having him as DT1. As we set up the mid screen, and Keaton's got it. He's got some space. Hit the back juke. Keaton on his feet. Drug down. What a great throw and run by Keaton. He did all the work. That's what we're talking about. We've seen him make the easy catch on the slant. We've seen him take a bubble screen and turn it into something. As we set up the double screen, this time to Ali, going nowhere. Keaton, if he can just be a little more, a little more consistent, right? He's got all the tools. He can really be a, a, a wide receiver one for us. He can do it all. He can run after catch. He can make the athletic catches. He's great in space. Big fan. Wells on the keeper, has a couple blocks. Down at the five, great run. This is Ali territory, big time from down inside of here. First and goal, Wells looking, it's Keaton. He gets a well-deserved touchdown. This was his drive. They leave him wide open for some reason. He's in for six. Love to see that for Keaton. Hopefully that gets him going a little bit. Lock him in, 
Hopkins under pressure, lofts it beautifully to Rudolph, who's got some room drugged down by Williams, who's back. 42-14, 6.40 and change trickling down on our game clock. Marshall in control of this one. Zone blitz coming on Hopkins. He throws another dart. This one Bruh. over the middle as Trey stays up on his feet. I'm not even going to try his last name. UAB definitely showing a little toughness. Toughness, excuse me. Not trying to quit. Hopkins in the shotgun. Pressure coming by Bo Plane. He hits another strike over the middle as Rudolph has it again. Marshall D needs to stiffen up as they get closer and closer to the red zone. Merely for pride at this point. Got to be able to play better D down the stretch, and there's the sack. Kroom and Edwards combine on that one. Love to see it. The DT's doing work. Plugging up the middle of that pocket. Second and 13 coming. Hopkins has to throw it away. Third and 13. McCoy trying to pump up the D. Hopkins gets it. Looking. It's the Davis slant. He's drugged down just a little short. Fourth and two coming up. Here we go, fourth and two. UAB just outside the red zone. What do they have drawn up? It's a handoff to McBride and he's short. He's short, turnover on downs. That's your ball game, bang. 42-14, Marshall. Big winners at home today in the snow. Win the total offense game. Much, much better on third downs. Perfect in the red zone, five for five and they don't turn the ball over. Not much more you could ask out of us. Grant Wells, QB1, 12 of 19, 114, two touchdowns, sacked one time. We didn't need to do a ton in the air, so we didn't ask him to do very much, but he was solid. On the ground, Rasheen Ali leads the way, 136 yards, he was awesome. One touchdown, 120 yard plus rush. Grant Wells with 104 and a touchdown himself, two rushes of 20 or more, they were dynamic duo on the ground. They were fantastic. Keaton, your leading receiver, four catches, 58 and a touchdown. Love to see it, still had the one drop. But we really need Keaton down the stretch to emerge as a really actual viable threat in this offense. Today was a good step forward. And defensively, we were led by Drayton and Neal in total tackles. Not a lot happening for them on offense, so not a lot of tackles to go around, but Eli Neal made every one of them count as they were TFLs. Drayton, Edwards, Kiva Conte all added a couple TFLs. Kroom, Simmons, and Neal were the three who got sacks. And of course, we got to talk about Willie. Three kick returns, 147 yards total, a long of 98 in the touchdown. He's the best returner in the country. Give him the award. And would you look at this, Kevin Hayes and Mike Woods. Two new recruits, a kicker and a tackle. I'll take it. Gotta add more boys to the board. Love to see it. And Lance Guidry, DC, is up for a upgrade as we're taking a look. No fly zone, more coverage for all of our DBs. And offensive coordinator Tim Cramsey is also looking around. I think we probably need a little bit more catching. So we're gonna go plus one into air traffic control. Hopefully limit the drops for this freaking team. That'd be ideal, huh? That's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Next week, we face off against 4-5 and five Tulsa. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.